Hey guys, Legal Lockpicker here, and welcome to today's episode. We're going to take a look at the Commando Lock Company Military Grade Padlock, um, the iChange series. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this now is because uh, I've seen a lot of these go around, and I've had some questions asked about uh, the up to 10 security pins and the lock sport approved that they, uh, Commando Company, flouts on their products, and I thought we would. Uh, take a look at it. Uh, as you can see here, it's got the eye chain shackle. It basically means that you can change out the shackle to a smaller or larger one, whatever one fits your needs. The solid body tech, which means the rivets are interlocked. Um, that is this part right down here. So that way, if you cut or grind down the bottom of these right here, you're not going to be able to just take the entire laminated shackle, the laminated lock apart one by one. Uh, it's not going to be so easy to do. And uh, this one also comes with the IC3 tactical shackle guard, which is this part right here. It's the top of it. That's to protect against bolt cutters and other forms of attack. So this would be really difficult to, uh, I, if not impossible to do um, with bolt cutters, I think. And uh, it, this one's also marine grade, so that's hand polished brass. So it's not going to get destroyed under adverse weather conditions. We also have, um, this is part of their eye change series. Basically, again, it just has something to do with the lock or the shackle in the back. It has nothing to do with uh, different pinning or anything like that. So that's not really what we're into here. So now you know what that is. So this lock works it's, it's actually pretty interesting it comes with a little little design here and it shows you how to change the shackle on it quickly so we're gonna do that real quick so it says put the key in turn unlock you don't have access to whatever you have locked up quite yet and the next part is turn it 90 degrees I guess it'd be 180 degrees and then you change your key back to the left instead of the right and then you can pull it out and then that's when you can get into the th item that you have locked up so uh, secure yes pain in the ass yes definitely so that's I mean if this is something you're using every day uh, I don't know if I would I just I'm not sure that I would use something like this only because of the hassle but I, for security yeah I don't think you're gonna get into whatever you have locked up so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna see if we can pick this open I'm going to use top of the keyway tension with my tension bar here from a1 I just really like them I got this from Bosnian Bill I'm gonna use my custom custom lock noob pick and we're going to see if we can get this open. I'm also going to show you a little trick. Okay, I got a little, nothing on one. Okay, I got a little tension on two. Let's see if I can get a click on three because it's definitely. Got to click on three. Anything on four and nothing on five. Okay, so at this point, now that we've um, hit, got two clicks out of it, I'm going to turn the pick around here, and I'm just going to use the back of it. Now I understand that this isn't how picks are meant to be used, but I am just running it along so there's no uh, nothing stopping it, so I can feel the pins quickly to see where I need to go from here so right now I can feel pin 3 is giving me some counter uh, counter rotation so now I'm just gonna push up on that okay now I'm gonna turn it back around again and now we're gonna go through the line again nothing on one two Three, four, nothing on five. 
So I'm going to turn the pick back around again. See what gives me counter rotation. Okay, so if I don't get any counter, oh, got something there. Okay, let's turn it back around, see what we can do. So this is actually pretty difficult. Okay, turning it back around again. I seem to be stuck on something. There we go. All right, so we did get an open here. So this is pretty challenging here. I'm not exactly sure how many security pins because it say up to, which really doesn't mean anything. But you can see we still can't get into the lock because of the way they have the shackle guard designed. So what you would have to do is use a plug spinner or you would have to if you're a crook and you don't know that this has to be uh, put exactly like this at the 180 and then you have to get it to the right spot and then you have to turn here and then pick in the other direction to get it open so that was a really difficult uh, lock to pick um, definitely um, definitely pick worthy I would say um, thank you to lock new for this awesome custom pick right here I uh, really appreciate that. It's definitely going on the wall <laughs> for picks that I use. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed here. Uh, don't forget to turn tune in this week for a giveaway. Uh, we're going to be giving away a Law Lock Tools Renegade set. So make sure you tune in on Friday to get your very own Renegade set. So. If you've watched this video, you are going to see that we're giving that away. <laughs> so, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.